Welcome, welcome, welcome to Learning Reaper. I'm your host, x.e.l.o. Today, what I want to do is actually show you guys how to use FL Studio inside of Reaper. Yes, you heard me correctly. Using FL as a VST inside of Reaper. There's a couple of ways to do it, and all of them are a little bit tricky, so I'm going to show you how to actually get it set up and get it going. Let's go. All right, so here we are in Reaper, and this theme is called Reaper Tips. So shout out to Reaper Tips for the theme. And usually what you want to do is download FL Studio. It is actually free to download the trial version. I'm actually going to be using the trial version. I actually removed myself from the FL Studio. I do have a full version, but I want to show you guys what happens when you're actually using the, the trial version inside here as well. So let's start. All right, so for FL Studio, you have two of them. You have one that just says VSTI and image line. This one has says 32 outs. The one we're gonna be using right now is gonna be the VSTI. So we can just change one thing at a time and I'll show you how to actually use the 16 outs as well. All right, so when FL Studio pops up, this is what you'll see. You'll see this FL Studio VSTI, right? And you have one by two outs. So there's only one channel with two outs on it. So a stereo out basically is what it has. You can offset the time for FL Studio if you wanted to here. So if you feel like it's actually going a little bit later than it should, you can always offset the time here on this little dial, right? But as you see, if you scroll over this the little half of an icon, it goes orange. So this means that this is where you can actually pull up FL Studio. So I'm gonna click on it. And boom, we have FL Studio inside of Reaper. So basically it'll go according to whatever your tempo is. So this tempo should be matching whatever the tempo is, right? And you have a whole bunch of channels. It already has presets set up on here. So you have uh, like 16 kind of tracks on here and a little bit more uh, if you wanted to, right? Um, and usually you'll have outs. Your outs would be over here in this corner and it'll show you outs, but uh, actually this is not doing outs because it only has a stereo out on it. So you don't get those options on here currently for this one, right? So if I play in here, right? So you can hear the sounds coming out. So uh, if you wanted to, you can go and change the sound. So this is where your sounds are. So I can right click on here and I can go to replace. And you know, if you wanted to do like flex, flex is an option that's in FL Studio, which is pretty cool, right? So you have a whole bunch of different flex sounds that you can actually use inside here. Um, right, so you have a whole bunch of different things that you can actually use inside here. So I'm gonna right click on here and I'm gonna change the sound again so I can go to replace. Right. And let's go, um, let's go FL keys just to make it simple for the video. Sorry. So we have FL keys set up on here. Um, so now uh, I can actually close this and I can close this as well. So I, I have my sound on here, right? So I'm just going to do something really quick. Make it four bars and record some all right so one of the things that I don't necessarily like about the FL studio when you're actually using it as a VST it doesn't always play that first chord or note that you're actually playing I have no idea why you just don't hear it but it does record it in there, as you can see. And if I hit play, sometimes it may not play that first part. Right, so you have the piano part down. So the thing about FL Studio is say you want to make this into like a WAV file because you don't have FL Studio of your own. And I'm just gonna let you guys know, you cannot save these presets. So even if you did like a template for this, it's gonna change the sound of FL Studio because you don't own it. So it doesn't save any of this information if you don't own FL Studio. And right now I'm using the trial version as you can see here in this top left-hand corner, right? So uh, 
if you wanted to bounce it, usually what you would do is just right click on it and you would render the track and do, do a freeze or do a render track. But when you do that in here, things kind of happen. So as you see, it started super late and it's kind of off. Um, I'm not hundred percent sure why it does that, but I haven't been able to get it to go the correct way using that method or even using the freeze method, which was right here. You just go freeze. Right. And as you still see, it's kind of off for that first note. And I'm not hundred percent sure, like I said, why it does that. So the method that I have come up with to actually do this recording is you would add another track. So I'm adding another track on here and I'm grabbing my sins. So it doesn't matter which uh, version you, if you just grab your sins and drag it down into the track you just made. So what we're going to do is record the output and let's make it a stereo output. So now you can see it'll show up on this line here. But what I'm going to do is actually take off the loop. So I'm going to hit escape on the keyboard and that'll remove the loop. And what I'm going to do is just record and it should capture the whole recording, right? So I have my track armed and it's going to be going out through this one. All right. And as you see, it didn't play that first note. And that's because FL studio does like a little glitch and I'm not hundred percent sure why it does that. So usually what I do to remedy this is to actually extend this out. So I'll duplicate this track, right? So I'll have at least eight bars and I will do this over. So I'm going to delete this one and we're going to start it over from the beginning. So Right, so now we have it actually recorded. So we can just even just take the second part because we know this is the good loop. And we can mute this one and now we have Right, so that's the easiest way to actually get your sounds from FL Studio and then actually record them into Reaper. Uh, and it does the same thing for other DAWs. Whatever DAW you're using is kind of that same philosophy of actually putting the FL Studio on there and then converting or bouncing it out. And that's if you don't have the full version, if you're not paying for FL Studio, this is all using the trial version. So you can use any of the instruments that you have inside of FL Studio. So whatever instruments that you do have in here, you can actually use. So whatever is in here, you can use. So if you want to use like GMS, which is another FL Studio plugin, you can use that as well in order to make your sounds come out inside here, right? So let me show you how to do multiple outs inside of Reaper to get FL Studio to go on different tracks. All right. So what I also want to do is show you some of the limitations of the trial version. So if I click on this trial version, right, and let's say I wanted to actually work out of FL Studio, you can't really work out of here the way you can if you have the full version. So as you can see, I'm still on the trial. So if I even right click on here and try to go to the piano roll, it doesn't let you do that, right? So you can't, <laughs> you can't use the piano roll inside here uh, if you're on the trial version for the VSTI and it doesn't also, it doesn't let you do the multiple outs from your 
mixing console. So the, usually there's an outs over here and I'll show you once I log into FL studio, but the trial version does not allow you to actually do it. So these are some of the limitations of the trial version. So let me actually log into my FL and then show you guys how to use the multiple outs. All right, so what I wanna do is I'm actually gonna use a template that I created just because it'll make it a little bit easier for me to set everything up. All right, so I have a template here as you can see and kind of have everything set up. If I click on FL Studio and I go to the mixer, now I actually have the outputs where you didn't have this inside of the free version. So you have to actually set each one of these up. So this one would be one. You could take the master one off if you wanted to. I'll just leave it on none. And you go in here, you can do here for two, right? Change this one to three. four, five. So I'm only going to do six just because it'll take forever. <laughs> All right. So now I have the first six kind of set up. And the six. Right, so if I go to this one, nothing because it's not set up to have an out on here. Right, so this is another way you can kind of pull all the stuff from FL Studio for sound wise. If you wanted to make it almost like a contact kind of bank for FL Studio, you can do that with the 16 outs, but you have to have a paid version in order to actually do this. It won't do it uh, any other way, right? So you have your 16 outs and you can kind of do whatever you want to do with the sounds. Uh, this is why I wouldn't highly suggest doing it this way, just because you have to actually pay for the full version. If you're going to pay for the full version, you might as well just use FL Studio. <laughs> but um, it is actually cool that you can actually use any of the VSTs that FL Studio does have inside of Reaper this way. Um, if you want to see or learn how to actually set this up, it's just like setting up the contact library. So I can show you guys that real quick. All right, so what you want to do is start with your 16 out the multi, hit add. And now what you're going to do, you're actually going to say no here. So I'm going to click on no, right? And what I want to do is bring up the effects so I can see it a little better. So I'm going to double click on here. And as you see, it brings it up into another like, Reaper window, you want to go to edit and then go to 16 channels of MIDI routing, right? So once you have your MIDI routing set up, what you want to do is go to this first one, which is the FL studio one, click on that. And here you have everything set up. You have on your right hand side is all of the MIDI setup. So now you just need to set up the audio. So the audio will come out of these tracks, right? But you don't want this track to actually make any sounds or noises. So you want to make sure you check on this check sign here. Make sure you remove that. Right. And then what you want to do is add a new send. And what I'm going to do is click on all sends right to this track. I'm going to delete the ones that I have set up already for my reverb and delay and chorus and my splitter track. So now I just have the FL Studio stuff on here. So what you wanna do is just go down the line. This is one and two. So you wanna do this one, stereo source, and you wanna go three and four, right? And you're gonna go down here again, stereo, five and six, and seven and eight. and nine and 10 and so on and so forth. I'm just going to kind of speed through these so you don't have to be tortured with this. All right. So all the way up to 31 and 32. So all of those are set up on here. So now you just want to make sure that all of these over here are highlighted. 
everything underneath. And I want to hold down Alt and just click on this first box one time. And what this will do, it'll allow it to go out to the master track, right? So now all the sounds are able to go out to the master. So now that you have all that set up, you should be good to go. And basically all you do need to do now is go into FL Studio and set up the outs for that. So we'll go to FL Studio and you want to click on your mixer and you want to just make sure that your master is not going out. So you could turn this to none, right? And then you want to go to the first option, change that to one, two, three, four, five, All right, so now we have all of them set up all the way up to 16. So if we kind of go down this line right here, what I want to do is right click on this, right? And what I want to do is set up to automatically record whichever one is selected, right? So if I go to this first one, second one, Of course, I don't think there's anything really on these, but you have them set up on here as well for your 16, if you needed them on there, right? So you have all your tracks right here set up inside of Reaper. So usually, you know, you can have it to where you can save these as say a, um, a bus, uh, So I'm gonna make this into a folder. So I'm gonna highlight all of these underneath and bring these into a folder. As you see the folder there, boom. So now I have a folder and what I can do is name this. All right, so it's called FL1, highlight all of them, right? So now all of them are actually highlighted. I can right click on here and go to save track as a track template. Um, make it an FL Studio layout. All right, so now we have it saved as uh, a FL Studio template. Great, so let's open up another project. I'm gonna right click on here, I'm gonna go to my templates and I'm gonna use this one that we just created. And boom, as you see, it's set up everything inside of Reaper the correct way. So if I go here and click on this one, right? So and it actually saves all the settings that you actually have inside from FL Studio. So if you need to go in here and change your sound, you can always go in here and change your sound to whatever sound you want to change it to and it'll always save that sound if you have the full version of FL Studio. You cannot do this if you don't have the full version. So I hope this is uh, actually helpful, uh, but the, you will still run into that same issue where it'll kind of pause and, and kind of glitch a little bit in the beginning of the track. I have no idea why, why it does it for FL Studio, but when you're using it as a VST, these are some of the issues that you kind of run into. So you will have to still go and break it down to where uh, you add a track and then record that track. That's pretty much the only way I found that it actually works. Uh, if you do find another way, please let me know. Other people here would love to know as well. But with that being said, that's pretty much the end of this video. I just wanted to kind of show you guys how to actually set up the FL Studio inside of Reaper. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you haven't already, make sure you guys are liking and subscribing to the channel and look out for more videos about the free VSTs that I showed earlier on on the channel. So I'm gonna kinda go through all of them on there uh, one by one, and this is the second one, which is FL Studio. So once again, I wanna thank you guys for watching Learning Reaper. Till next time, peace. Hey you, yes you, YouTube wants you to watch this video next, man. 
Go ahead and click it. I'll wait. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. I'm not going to keep waiting here. All right. I will see you in the next video, though. Peace.